Again, Sat Nam, lovely to see you, lovely to connect. So we'll start by tuning in. So our mantra to open the class and to really start to connect to each other. As we tune in using these sacred mantras, we tune in to me as a teacher and then to all the teachers that have gone before me. So we tune into this, what we call the golden chain, like a whole lineage of support. Um, so just as we chant this mantra, Om Namo Guru Dev Namo, I bow to the divine within, I tune into my inner teacher, just know <laughs> that all the other teachers have got your back. All of the other seekers, all of the other yogis, all of the other teachers, gurus have got your back. Yeah, you're, they're with you. Okay, so Om Namo Guru Dev Namo, it means I bow to the divine within and it's our step inwards. Yeah, so allow yourself a moment as you chant the mantra to let go of the day you've had, the week you've had and just allow yourself a little bit of space and time. The second mantra is a little bit more complicated. So if you've not done the mantras with me before or you've not done this class with me before, Try and chant the first mantra, but just listen to the second mantra. And the second mantra is there more for creating a protective space, yeah, a sacred space for us to practice in, knowing that we're all practicing in our homes, you know, just to turn the volume on the world down, turn the volume on the house down so that you can really tune into yourself. OK, so let's rub the palms of the hands together to begin with and just soften your eyes. And then just drawing the hands into the heart center when you're ready, so thumbs against the breastbone. And the eyes are soft. They don't need to be fully closed if that doesn't feel comfortable, but just have them soft so that you're inviting your gaze inwards, so that we start to allow ourselves the space to see ourselves clearly, yeah, to drop any judgments, any stories, and just allow ourselves to be. So we chant the mantra, Om Namo Guru Dev Namo, three times. Start to tune into the rhythm of your breath. Breath rising, expanding, opening, and breath falling. And just feel as you exhale, with each and every exhale, just feel your face soften, your jaw relax the shoulders soften. So just allowing yourself a moment to, again, let go of any tension, let go of any stories. So with each and every inhalation, we're opening to receive. And with every exhalation, we're just letting go of anything that we've been holding on to. And then we'll just breathe in together. So taking a deep breath in, ready to start the mantra. Oh hands sit in prayer pose up to the sky reach up stretch up all the way from the tip of the tailbone to the tips of the fingers and then exhale and sweep the arms down in a big circle around you and then just rest with your fingertips touching the ground for a moment feel into where you connect to the earth feel the fingertips as they rest on the earth 
feel the gentle weightiness of your body on the earth, the sitting bones, the fold of your legs. And then when you're ready, you can gently open your eyes. So Satnam. So today we are working with the energies of the full moon, um, which can often intensify um, our feelings, our emotions. So today's full moon energy, um, we are honouring, it's in Sagittarius. And the message of the full moon, I was reading, maybe I can, if I can remember, I'll... Um, I'll send you a few things to look at um, through Alaya Yoga, through Himalaya Yoga Valley, um, of quite interesting people to follow in their kind of insights into the, our astrological makeup. But essentially, this full moon is about cutting away the things that no longer serve us. And in that cutting away, in that letting go, finding a sense of empowerment, finding a sense of resilience. So that what that's really what we'll be working with today. Let's go and sit on the mat. <laughs> so get yourself nice and comfortable. If you've been sat on a cushion for that opening mantra, then just remove that, take it, put it to one side. We're just gonna sit and warm up. So just letting the hands rest on the knees and then just starting to draw a circle with the body. So spinal rolls, or we sometimes call them Sufi rolls. So just close your eyes if you feel comfortable with that. Again, so that really we're drawing our awareness inwards. So don't look out into your room, into your kitchen, into your bedroom and think about the things that should be done. Just Soften your eyes and start to listen to yourself. And what might you hear as you start to listen to yourself? So you might start to hear from your body that, oh, this bit feels a bit achy, this bit feels tense. So as you listen to the body, just start to breathe into those areas that might feel tight or tense, but also feel into those spaces that feel open and free. So allowing your breath to travel into anywhere that feels tight or where you feel like you might have been holding on. And also explore where there might be a flow, a freedom of movement. And we're different each day. Of course, we will have our typical patterns and our kind of typical aches and pains. But quite often we superimpose those from the brain. Like we're, we're used to having lower back ache and so therefore we expect to have lower back ache. Just listen into your lower back. See how it's feeling. So without any judgment, just listening to your lower back or wherever it is that you often predict that there will be tension and just listen. And as you move, just breathing into that area. And it might not be your lower back, it might be a shoulder, it might be a knee. So just allow yourself to breathe into that place where there might be tension or tightness, just with the awareness of listening, not analysing, not judging, but just listening. Feel the support of the ground beneath you. Again, feel where the sitting bones touch the ground and you might feel as you move forward that there's more pressure weight on the lower leg there's even more pressure on the hands as they push onto the knees as you come forward and feel that as you come back there's more weight more pressure on the sitting bones on the tailbone now just moving in the opposite direction. So just starting to spiral 
the opposite way and just bring your awareness now into the pelvic bowl. The pelvic bowl made up of the hips and the pelvis and just breathing into that space And naturally, this, this impact or power of the full moon does have an effect on the energy of our body. And it's often so associated with the tides, with the movement of water, the full moon, especially this full moon. It's a super moon. So it's going to have a more dramatic effect on tides, on the waters, on, on our emotions, maybe. And we often say in yoga that around the belly, the womb, the area of the second chakra, this is the element of water. So it's our feeling nature, our emotional nature. So as you move, imagine or feel that your pelvis, your pelvic bowl is full of water. Now, is the water of life or it's our energy and as we circle as we spiral we don't want to spill a single drop of that precious energy of that water so feel into the grace the fluidity of the movement and just feeling as if you can stop leaking any energy dropping any precious drops of water, of energy. And filling it into the fullness. So beyond today's super moon or it being full moon in Sagittarius and all that that brings, whatever the full moon is in, it's going to create that, hopefully that invitation to abundance, to fullness. So just feeling into the fullness in the body. Feel the belly soften. And then just slowly let these circles come smaller and smaller. So just pulling yourself back towards the centre. Until you find a still point at the centre. And just take a breath in. And exhale through the mouth. <sighs> okay. We will open the eyes and stretch the arms up to the sides. Find your hands and interlace the fingers. So interlacing the fingers and turning them up to the sky. So the palms of the hands are reaching up to the sky. Lovely. Stay like that for a moment. You can stay with the eyes open. And then we're just going to stretch very gently to one side. Try and keep the hip of the opposite side to where you're stretching down. So ground through the hip. And then keeping the arms open, just now coming all the way around in a big circle. Just a bit of a full moon movement. And then we'll do that again. So stretching to one side, pin the opposite hip or sitting bone down to the ground. Feel that stretch through your side. And then again, a big circle all the way around. And then one more time, stretch to the side, drawing down through the sitting bone on the opposite side. So you get a nice stretch. And then all the way through. Okay. Just for a moment, unfurl the hands and bring the hands to the heart centre. 
Eyes are soft. And then inhale, stretch the arms up again above the head. Try and interlace them the other way, which might feel weird. Yeah? So try and interlace them the other way. Then the palms reach up to the sky again. And then stretching to the other side. So just gently stretching to the other side and again, pinning the opposite sits bone down to the ground. Feel that connection with the earth and then a nice stretch through the side and then all the way around, big circle. Back to centre. And again, stretching. Nice stretch all the way through the side. And then all the way around. Back to centre. And then one last time, stretching to the side. Lengthening through the side. And then a big circle all the way around. And back to centre. Keep your hands as they are, interlaced, but just bring them behind the back of your head. And then we'll just inhale forward, exhale back. Move the head. Yeah. So sometimes when we do this, we try and keep the head static, but today let's get the head involved. So inhaling forward, leading with the chest. As you exhale back, tuck the chin and the tailbone and under. So we might just simply want to honour the full moon energy and honour our energy, honour the abundance of our energy. Maybe we don't feel that our energy is that abundant. Maybe we do feel a little tired or overwhelmed or stressed at the moment. But just know that that energy is available to us. It might be again about dropping the mind story, the expectation that we're going to be tired or that we're going to feel overwhelmed so that we start to rewrite the story. So knowing that there is unlimited energy, we just might not always feel like that. Inhale to centre. Hold the breath for a moment, pin the elbows back, tuck the chin in, and then exhale through the mouth. <sighs> and you can release the hands down. Oh, let's have, the, have a nice shoulder roll, shake the hands out. Yeah. So we will do a life nerve stretch. So extending one leg out, sole of the foot into the opposite thigh. Let's bring the arms up to the sides again and interlace the fingers. And then exhale down towards the leg. Now you could have your hands on your shin or you could have them around your foot. Yeah. And just holding. No movement today, just hold it static. So wherever feels comfortable. And just tune into the natural rhythm of your breath. So we just did that lovely stretch through the side. So feel as you breathe, as if you're breathing into the side body, as if you're breathing into the outer edge of your ribs. Just 
Take a breath in. Exhale through the mouth. <sighs> and then slowly roll up. And let's swap the legs over. So extending one leg, bringing the sole of the opposite foot into the inner thigh. Bring the arms up to the sides. Interlace the fingers. Push away from the body for a moment, creating that line from the tip of the tailbone up to the palms of the hands. And then gently folding down. Again, you can rest the hands on the shin or you can kind of cup the ball of your foot and just sink into wherever feels comfortable. And then tune in to the rise and fall of your breath or more the spaciousness of your breath. Feel into the expansion in the ribs, in the sides. Feeling again where the body touches the earth, where you rest to the ground and there's that support. Sometimes with any full moon and the full moon energy, it can feel a bit intense. So it's quite good to remember our connection with the earth. So feel the gentle weightiness of the body resting to the ground. Feel into the spaces between the ribs as you breathe. So just creating some space to breathe, some space to be. Take a breath in, exhale through the mouth, <sighs> and then on the next inhalation, rolling up. And we will open both legs wide. And we're going to take the right fist and wrap the left hand around the right fist. Okay, this is our mudra. Flex the feet so the soles of the feet are pushing away from the body. One hand, the left hand wrapped around the right, and then again another nice circling movement. Okay. Soften your eyes, and with each and every exhalation, softening into the movement. So feel your face soften, your jaw relax, feel the belly soften. Feel the shoulders and upper back soften. And again, just feeling the support from the earth. So with each breath, feeling the support of the earth, but feeling your body kind of soften into the earth, into the ground. Come back to centre. Let's just rest our hands at the heart for a moment. And then same mudra. So the right hand is in the fist, the left hand wraps around it. And then moving in the opposite direction. Soften the eyes, soften the face. <sighs> Occasionally there might be a spontaneous exhale, a letting go. Feel the support of the ground, of the earth.
flowing, allowing. So sometimes when there's silence, which is rare when I'm teaching because I talk a lot, but sometimes when there's silence, we might discover that their head starts to whir again, that the mind starts to plan and to daydream. If you notice that, just come back into the sensation of the movement. Feel the weight of your body on the ground or the flow of your breath. And then come back to centre and just bring the hands into prayer pose. Okay. Let's bring the hand, no, sorry, the legs in. This is going to be our mudra. So we're going to keep the palms of the hands together, but we're going to do breath of fire. So breath of fire, powerful breathing technique breathing in and out through the nose and pumping the navel. So as we breathe out, we pull the navel in, so it's pushing the air out of the body. As we breathe in, the belly just relaxes, so we open, we surrender to the breath, okay? So exhaling, pulling the navel in, inhaling, belly relaxes. If you're on the first few days of your period, just do normal breathing, or if you choose to, just do normal breathing anyway, okay? Palms of the hands together in front of the heart centre, but not touching. So you're actually creating a bit of resistance, pushing palm to palm, so that it's a straight line from elbow to elbow. Okay. Soften the eyes, soften the face, and breath of fire, pumping the navel. Keep it going. I like to put the tip of my tongue into the roof of my mouth. So you might like to try to do that as you breathe. And this is really a breath to create courage, to create inner strength, to create resilience. So it's a powerful, dynamic, energizing breath. So feel as if you're kind of supercharging yourself. It's a super moon. So feel as if you're really charging yourself with this energy. going. You can always smile if you want to when you're doing this. Sometimes stops us getting tense or so super focused on what we're doing. Smile, relax the face in that way, but keep the navel pumping. in and hold the breath for a moment and pull in the root lock so squeeze in the muscles between the anus and genitals and pull the navel back in towards the spine and hold it so we've stirred up that energy and now we're bringing it in drawing it in storing it and exhale relax the belly relax the hands okay so let's come on to our hands and knees so we're coming to cat cow. Firmly plant the hands. And then inhaling up, exhaling down. This is just a really beautiful way of warming up the spine and energizing the spine. So I spoke earlier about breathing into the spaces between the ribs as we breathe. Now start to feel into the spaces between the vertebra. Then we become more fluid in the spine, more snake-like. So just breathing into the serpent spine.
So in Kundalini Yoga, we tend to always do this cat-cow movement faster than in other traditions of yoga. So just try it, see how it feels. So it's more that we're just sniffing the breath in and then out again. And in this way, it's about creating, cultivating energy again, so energizing the spine. Inhale. And then exhale, turn the toes over and coming up into downward dog. Firmly plant the hands, sink into the soles of the feet. And let's hold it static to begin with. So sinking into the soles of the feet, the palms of the hands, making contact with the earth. Flattening the back, head in line with the arms. We're really taking the pressure off of the spine. So again, feel, if you can, into the spaces between each vertebra. Almost as if the spaces between the vertebra sigh. <sighs> again, if ever you feel to exhale through the mouth, please do. So deeper release, a deeper let go. Take a breath in and as you exhale come back to the knees, kind of stretch your arms out ahead of you, your hips stay above the knees and just bringing the forehead, the third eye point down to the ground and stretching the arms out ahead of you. This is Anahatasana. So feel into the upper back. So you might feel that stretch again, that opening in the side body. I use the word stretch there. I've used the word stretch quite a lot today. In Sanskrit, there's no word for stretch. Yeah. So all of you know our descriptions of yoga where we talk about stretching they don't talk about that in Sanskrit, but they do talk about expansion. So feel into the expansiveness through the ribs, through the sides of the body. And maybe you can feel into the upper back, the back of the heart. This is Anahatasana. Anahata is the energy of the heart. and feel almost as if the back of the heart shines, reflecting the moon that will rise above us. And then on your next in-breath, you can just roll or just draw the hands back, draw your body back so that you're Sitting bones are now on your heels and just stretch forward and bring the palms of the hands together, resting on the ground still, and rest the head to the earth. I'm just keeping my head up so I can talk to you. This is Guru Pranam. Pranams is gratitude, thanks. And Guru again, our teacher or our inner teacher. So Guru Pranam, gratitude to our inner teacher. And on this full moon, it could be gratitude to the moon, to the cycles of life, to the cycles of the day, to our rhythms. Feel your heartbeat. Guru Pranam. Gratitude to your inner teacher, to the silent voice of the heart, 
to your very heartbeat. Take a breath in, then fully exhale. <sighs> and on your next in breath, rolling up slowly through the spine, all the way up through the body. And then we'll just stretch forward into downward dog again. So sink into the hands and the feet, but this time let's just hike one hip and then the other. So just rolling through the hips. Nice. And then let's just raise our right leg up to the sky and then following through with the foot, the knee, bring the foot down and bend your left knee to the earth, coming up, palms of the hands together into a gentle lunge, Anjali Asana. So this is a gentle kind of salute to the moon. Yeah. Feel almost now as if you're orienting the front of your heart, the front of your chest, up to the sky, up to the moon. And then just come back, plant the hands to the earth and come back into downward dog. Bend the knees and roll through the spine now. <sighs> Enjoy those exhales. Allow any exhalation through the mouth to come if it does so naturally. <sighs> and then firmly plant the hands and feet again. Lift the left leg to the sky and then follow through the knee, the sole of the foot to the ground. Drop the right knee to the earth. Stretch the arms up, bringing the palms of the hands together in a gentle lunge. Anjali Asana. Look to the sky. Still breathing now into the side ribs, giving yourself that sense of expansion, of fullness, in this very gentle salute to the moon. next inhale just drop the hands back to the ground firmly plant them and come back step back into downward dog and then drop the knees to the earth once more keep the hips above the knees and stretch the hands out planting the third eye point the forehead to the ground so anahatasana again mm. Feel that gentle stretch at the back of the heart. Take a breath, and as you exhale, just come back into Guru Pranam, palms of the hands together, head to the earth. Sink, my, I've brought my knees slightly open so that it almost feels as if my legs, my thighs cradle the front of my ribs. So just breathe into it.
keep breathing, connected to the earth, allowing yourself this space to listen, to listen to your inner teacher. Take a breath in, fully exhale, and on your next in-breath, roll up slowly. And we'll stretch forward one more time into Downward Dog, so plant the hands and the feet into the earth, stretch the right leg up to the sky, come forward into Anjali Asana again. So a gentle lunge, we won't hold it for so long this time. So on your next in breath, plant the hands to the earth again, step back to downward dog. And right, reach the left leg to the sky, forward into the lunge, into Anjali Asana. Inhale, plant the hands to the earth. Step back to downward dog. Sink to the hands, to the feet, to the earth. Drop the knees down. And this time, come fully to your belly. And we'll come into cobra or a modified cobra. So either have the hands under the shoulders or rest on the forearms. Sink into the hands in whichever position you choose to do this in. Gently into Cobra, whichever position works for you. Drop the shoulders away from the ears. And we're going to bring the head so that we're looking directly forward. We're not looking up. Soften your eyes. And we're going to inhale and twist the head to the left. Very slowly exhale to the right. So inhaling to the left. And exhaling to the right. Nice and slowly. Back to centre and exhale and lower the belly to the earth and then you can either just rest on the belly or if you prefer to you can come back again into Guru Pranam. It always gives quite a nice stretch to the lower back so just tune into it, see what appeals to you, what works for you. Letting go of anything that you've been holding on to. So we talk about cutting away. But we can be quite soft with that. Letting go of anything that isn't empowering us. It can be a soft exhalation as we let go. It doesn't have to be dramatic. It can be a pause of consideration and then simply a, an acknowledgement that this thought, this feeling, this action, this behaviour no longer serves us. And as we exhale, we can just release that.
Inhale. Exhale fully. And gently come up, whether you're in lying on your belly or whether you're in Guru Pranam. So we'll just come into a squat for the final part of this. So sink into the soles of the feet, the heels, and come squatting. Now, if your heels are coming off the ground, you can always roll up your mat and rest the heels onto it, or you can just try moving your feet a little bit wider. You know, sometimes that helps, okay? We are going to interlace the fingers again. Index finger out. Stretch out ahead of us, and breath of fire again. Keep it going. Again, try putting the tip of the tongue into the roof of the mouth, pumping the navel. Courage, inner strength, resilience. Tap into these qualities so that we feel strong enough to let go of what's no longer serving us. Keep it going. Just feel as if you're supercharging yourself with this breath. If you're just doing a normal breath instead, it still has the same power, it still has the same quality. You're charging yourself with breath, with energy, with prana, anything is possible. Keep breathing. Whether it's breath of fire, whether it's a normal breath, keep breathing, energizing, recharging. Take a breath in, hold the breath for a moment and pulling in the root lock, squeezing in the muscles between the anus and genitals, pull the navel in towards the spine. Again, it's drawing that energy in, creating a little storehouse in the belly, behind the navel, so it's always there. Your courage, your resilience is always there. And then exhale and relax. You can drop back and just give the legs a shake. Let's come lying down and just before we go into our shavasana, our relaxation, we'll just draw the knees into the chest and our nose in towards the knees and let's just do 30 seconds of breath of fire. Take a breath in, pull in the root lock again, and then exhale and relax to the earth, relax to the ground. <sighs> so the palms are open to the sky, the feet are hip width-ish apart, and just shake the feet a little bit for a moment, and then just let them fall open. You can do the same with the hands for a moment. Just wiggle the fingers and then just let them open to the sky. Oh, and just feel the happy surrender, I think, of being held by the earth. So feel the gentle weightiness of the body to the earth. And with each and every breath, feel that gentle surrender. There's nothing to hold on to right now. Just allow yourself to be held. Because sometimes we find that we're holding on even when we don't realize. 
That could be onto an old story, holding on to a story, holding on to a relationship. It could be just right now, you're not fully relaxed. You're holding the body in some way. Allow the earth to hold you. And as the earth holds you, feel the light of the moon. Bathe in the light of the moon. Bringing clarity, bringing receptivity. Held by the earth and bathed in the clarity of the moon. Surrender to the sensation of being held by the earth and surrender to the clarity, the lucidity of the light of the moon. Allowing yourself to be held. Become aware again of your breath. Feel into the expansiveness of the breath in the body. Charged with the breath, with energy, with prana. Start to move your fingers and your toes. Move your wrists and your ankles. And stretch your arms up above the head and stretch from the tips of the fingers to the tips of the toes. Draw the knees into the chest and rub the palms of the hands and the soles of the feet together. This wakes up the nerve endings and then hold the knees into the chest. You can rock gently side to side. Massage your back a little after the cobra. And then just roll in, preferably to your right side, but depending on the dimensions of your room and where you find yourself, and come back to sitting. And we're going to do a short meditation, so if you want to take a cushion, please do. And the mantra for this, the sound vibration is hara. H-A-R, Hara. So there's a slight rolling R, and Hara is God, creation, creativity, energy. Yeah? And every time we chant Hara, we're gonna pull the navel in towards the spine. So it's a very active meditation. It's a meditation for the full moon energy, for creativity, for clarity. So Hara, H-A-R, with that slight rolling R sound. And as we do it, we're gonna pull the navel in towards the spine. So it'll be hara, hara, hara. Okay. Then the mudra is that we are gonna 
curl the thumb into the inside of the palm of the hand and wrap the fingers around the thumb. Okay, they're ahead of us, and what we're going to do is bring them in a circle so that the little fingers touch and the base of the palms touch. They don't touch when they come to the top. Yeah, so it's all rhythmic. So we'll chant hara as the hands meet at the bottom of the circle. Yeah, so as the little fingers and the base of the hands meet. So it's hara, hara, hara. Okay, so. Sink into your sitting bones, feel grounded, feel connected, opening up to creativity, to lucidity, energised by the moon. Okay. So I'll start you joining. Hara, 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 hara. Hara, 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 hara. Take a breath in. Let's stretch the arms up to the sky. Exhale, bring the hands to the heart center in prayer pose. Just rest for a moment. Thumbs against the breastbone, eyes soft. And then we'll chant together Satnam, meaning I am truth, or truth is who you are. So take a full breath in to begin. So sides again all the way till they meet above the head palms of the hands touching peace to all light to all and love to all
and just bowing the head to the heart, Satnam.